everybody, today I am going to do a video showing you some of the things that I take with me on a long haul flight. I'm going to be showing you everything I put in my carry-on, which I always have a little wheelie suitcase. Not necessarily for shorter flights, but I feel like for a long haul flight, there's a lot more that I want to take with me and so it's never all going to fit in something that I have on my shoulder and if it does it's super heavy and I always end up making Alfie carry it. So a suitcase with wheels um, is basically something that is a must for me when travelling more than about four hours. So as most of you will know I am going to be at Playlist Live in Florida next week so that means a eight plus hour flight for me and I'm not the best at flying. I don't mind the concept of flying, I'm not scared of aeroplanes or aeroplanes being in the sky, I'm more kind of anxious around travel. So for me it is vital that I have my carry-on packed and ready and it has everything that I will need in it. My carry-on is this which is a Ted Baker wheelie suitcase. It looks big, but it's not. It's the general kind, kind of cabin size. It has four wheels. I don't know why I'm shouting that. I love it. It moves really softly, and I don't know if you're really into suitcases, whether that's something on your checklist. It looks really pretty, and it has rose gold on it, so I love it. As you can see, when the suitcase is opened there are two compartments, one of which has a little zip kind of mesh side and the other which is just generally clipped together. Um, I tend to put my more valuable things over on the zip side, so I've got my laptop in there, but I'll go through the other side first. It kind of looks like chaos and a little bit of a mess, but in my mind it's organised chaos which is slightly different. The first thing you will notice, which I actually don't take in my wheelie suitcase, but I thought I would just include it because it's kind of an essential for travel, is my passport. Well, you're not gonna get very far if you don't have a passport, but I generally just take this in my bag. And this year, the bag I'm using is my Little Whistles rucksack. I just find a rucksack a lot easier for an airport because you're pulling along one suitcase, you don't wanna have something else here and something else here, and then before you know it, you're literally juggling a million bags. Um, so so if you have a little rucksack, um, just to keep essentials like my phone, my boarding pass, my passport and chewing gum and just general easy access things, I keep those in here so I will be wearing this on my back. The next thing I have in there is my sunglasses. Obviously it depends where you're going but I'm going to Florida and I hear there is a little bit of sun there at the moment so it's not something that you might generally think of this side because it's really not that sunny. Um, so a lot of times I actually forget to pack these um, and then I get to Florida and I have no sunglasses at all so I always just make sure I put those in my hand luggage mainly because when you get off the plane the other side it's quite nice to just be like Oh, it's sunny. Um, so yeah, those are my glasses. The next thing you will see is my headphones. Now I take two types of headphones. This might sound really odd, but when it's like an eight plus hour flight and you've got all your in-flight movies and you've got um, episodes of TV series downloaded on your laptop and you wanna have some quality listening to things yourself time, then you're gonna have to wear headphones. Now I find over ear headphones a lot more comfortable for a certain amount of time and then I find them quite uncomfortable because they've been pressing on my ears. Um, so I have these for initial comfort. These are friends headphones um, and I just find these really nice to wear. They're small, they don't stick out. Um, a major issue I have is that a lot of um, over ear or on ear headphones are massive and I look like a seven year old wearing their parents headphones so these I don't really have that issue which is great and they're really good for travel because they fold like this and they did come with a little bag which I have no idea where it is I think it's in here actually somewhere but then once they start to hurt or if I want a nap actually if I want to sleep I find in ear headphones a lot easier to wear for that specific time um, and actually I like to revert back to the old iPhone headphones I'm not a fan of the newer ones I like the older ones that were just round and basic um, so I have some of those they're really dirty really manky 
but they do the job so I'm gonna take those with me yet yeah, they did they untangled so it's all good the next thing I have is a sleeping mask um this is this has fluff on it <laughs> there we go um this is by wild fox it's possibly the softest um eye mask I have ever come across I love this so much I think the design's really cute I think they have a few of these but I like these because it's kind of a way of being like I'm gonna have a sleep now to everyone around you and also to the air stewards and the air stewardesses so yeah sleeping mask um also it's good if there are a lot of people around you who don't want to nap and they want to read or they want to do other things and they've put their light on and you find it hard to get a bit of dark get a bit of darkness <laughs> next thing is chewing gum chewing gum is an on-flight essential i feel like it's a lot of hours in a day um to be sat in very close proximity to other people it basically makes you feel like you have fresh breath and a clean mouth on a flight where essentially you probably don't have a very clean mouth so the next thing which I always advise people to take on long haul flights is cozy socks when I'm on a long haul flight I could fall asleep and wake up and have the coldest feet in the world so for me I kind of the first thing I do when I get on a flight also to make myself feel more comfortable and to feel a little bit more at ease because I find flying quite an anxious ordeal is to get really comfy um, and make myself at home as it were so I get onto the aeroplane take off my shoes that's one of the first things I do tuck them away or put them back in my suitcase to put back up because I'm not gonna need them for like eight plus hours and then I put on my cozy socks these ones are so friggin soft um they are just polka dots cozy socks always a must the next thing is a neck pillow now this doesn't look like your average neck pillow that is because it transforms two ways now i really love the ones that come around here but sometimes i find i can't get comfortable on them this is a neck pillow by samsonite and it basically unzips and you can pull it out and you can have it uh two ways and then you zip it back up so you can have it this way uh round your neck or if you find a comfy spot or you can have it the other way and have it square this is just uh an added whoops <sighs> almost flashed you there um plus i just i don't know i really like the square side i like that you can have both i just dropped it <laughs> The next thing is my small little bag of things. Okay, so in here, there's not a lot, but it's just easily accessible stuff. Um, you can get these clear bags from Boots. Um, this is the medium size, this is the small one. It also comes with a much larger one, which I like to put shampoo and hair brushes and all sorts of other hair things which I put in my main luggage but these two make it to the carry-on bag really minimal makeup I don't wear makeup on flights I don't wear makeup to the airport but I might want to put a little bit on the other side generally I don't because I find that I'm so relieved to be on the ground that I don't care what I look like but oh my god that made me jump so much but if I get the other side and I think, meh, I might put a little bit of makeup on, that flight's not really done me the world of good and I look awful, um, then I might put a bit on. But the only things I will put on are a little bit of concealer. So I've packed the Naked Skin Urban Decay Concealer, a mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I've also packed a bronzer. Now I went for bronzer over blusher because I feel like bronzer can add a little bit more depth to the face and yeah just went for a bronzer and that also has a mirror in it um so if you need to do anything during the flight you have a mirror also i also have in here some neurofen this is basically in case i get a headache or i feel terrible or i don't know i just take this just in case I also have travel sickness tablets because I am not a good traveller and sometimes I can feel very queasy and I would rather not so I take those too just in case and also you never know who might be around you that might want something like this also and I'm not really sure why I've got these in my hand luggage but I carry these pretty much everywhere I go whether that's in my handbag or in a suitcase I don't really take a suitcase many places but it is the Compede plasters for blisters i love these i get blisters quite a lot i don't know if it's the way i walk in shoes or what but i generally have a blister 
most of the time and these are just genius so I take them with me just in case um, next one has a lot more in it so I will get started two makeup brushes for the makeup I've just shown so this one just to blend in my concealer and this one just to pop on the bronzer I also have some Kleenex tissues I just feel like tissues are a must-have for a plane you never know when you might need a packet of tissues antibacterial hand gel there are a lot of germs on an aeroplane um, most you can't avoid because they're in the air but where you can I would always use a hand gel through the airport and on the plane and just generally trying to stay as clean as possible makes you feel a lot more refreshed speaking of feeling refreshed I have 12 handy wipes uh, these are just wet wipes I just think again they are really useful if you just want to freshen up as well then these are really useful I also take this with me on long-haul flights I know that I think first class offers this but if you're anywhere else on the plane then this might not be offered to you so it's worth taking just in case toothbrush and toothpaste now you can get smaller toothpaste than this this is actually allowed this is a 50 ml um, we have a restriction I don't know if it's the same everywhere in the world we can only take items under 100 ml through in our carry-on so everything I am showing you is under 100 ml and uh, this is 50 it looks huge but it's actually 50 ml um, you can get ones that are half the size but I've taken this because me and Alfie share our toothpaste so when one of us has it it kind of lasts a bit longer while we're away also and it's still in the limit so taking that one and then this which is a travel toothbrush it's pink and sparkly and it's really cool um, one thing I really hate about taking my toothbrush with me um, in a bag or thrown in somewhere is that uh, they never generally have a case and if they do have a case they're big toothbrushes and the case is massive um, so I found this in boots and I was like this is brilliant this is just what I need it has a cover on it so you're not going to get those horrible little bits of fluff in your toothbrush that you're having to pick off because it's been in the bottom of your bag or handbag or makeup bag so this is perfect um, you pull it off and it's actually an electric toothbrush so the the head can go on you can change the heads too I just thought that was genius for traveling and I'll obviously use this while I'm away as well so perfect deodorant um, I like to take a deodorant with me because sometimes you can feel a bit hot or you can get a bit stuffy or you can think mm, I've been sat in the same clothes in the same seat for a really long time and I'm not sure I feel 100% fresh so you could go into the toilet with the wet wipes have a little wipe down and then woo, wax some of this on um, I love Dove I love Dove. Dove is one of my faves. Oh, it smells so good. Next thing is a little rollable perfume. You can also take on those little tiny testers that you get in some shops, which I find are amazing for flights because you don't necessarily need to use it anywhere else, but it's the perfect size for a flight. Next thing is skincare. Now I see long haul flights as the perfect time to give my skin a good pampering not only just because of the time but also because I won't have makeup on I'll be chilling not doing a lot and also because flights can really dry out your skin so if you have sensitive skin or dehydrated skin already then you really want to pay particular attention to your skin on a flight if you don't want to leave the other side thinking why does my face feel so tight and dry and disgusting um, and it's fun too if you're there with your friends like me and Louise we always do this together um, I think we've even roped Alfie and Marcus into this possibly before um, so it is a bit of fun it's a bit of you time and it kind of is quite a nice distraction if you're getting a bit bored if you are one of these people that likes to get on a flight with a face of makeup and leave a flight with a face of makeup that's totally fine um, but you might not want to wear your makeup during the flight so in that case I would recommend a mini Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish so you can take the little muslin cloth and you can take this and you can just go into the bathroom and remove all your makeup maybe do a double cleanse just to be extra extra sure um, but also if you're not wearing makeup and you want a little bit more of um, that clean feeling on your skin using something like this would be really good however if you are going there with no intention of wearing any makeup and your skin is already clean but you just want to freshen up your face wipes are amazing um, my favorites are the simple skincare wipes and the number seven beautiful skin wipes I'm gonna take these because I've only got a few left which makes it perfect for packing um, so it's really nice and flat 
Next thing I have is my Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment. This is just something that I think is perfect for a plane. It's really, really thick, it's really moisturizing, and you could almost just put it on and leave it there. Next up is my moisturizer of choice. I actually bought this on my way to either LA or Florida uh, last time in the airport because I was after something that was really going to um, hydrate my skin. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief, which I thought sounded perfect for a flight and I actually have used it ever since because I love it. But it feels amazing on the skin and it definitely doesn't allow a flight to dry my skin out. So I give this the in-flight tick. Next thing which I feel like is so important, not just for your dry areas like your lips or your cuticles or certain parts of your hands, I know that in the winter I get like certain little bits on my hands which get really like dry, 8 hour cream. Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream is perfect for an aeroplane. Um, I love this stuff, it is amazing, especially on lips. Um, you want to be rehydrating your lips quite a lot throughout a flight and this is the perfect thing to do that with. These next things are optional but I like to take them because they make me feel A like I'm having a bit of fun and B like it's really doing something. So a face mask, you can take a face mask, you have time to put a face mask on, you don't have to have a sheet mask. I like to take these because I think they're really fun. <laughs> or you could just take some of your favourite face mask in a tiny little tub that you can decant and take with you. Um, but I just find sheet masks really easy because they're really thin to take and once you've used them you can just throw it away. They do look quite scary however, but if it's you and your friend doing it then you can both look scary together and no one can judge you. This first one I have is actually from Leaders. Um, I got sent this to my PO box uh, from a company in Tokyo, I believe. These are just amazing. It's the Bio Media Curing Mask Aqua Dressing. Um, if you can't get hold of that, which is understandable, although I think you can get those online, then I have a Hydroluron one, which is just from Boots, and it's the Moisture Boosting Mask, and these are amazing. The other thing which I've kind of sworn by on all long haul flights for like the last year and a half is the Leaders Hydro Gel Therapy Patch. I think I mentioned these in one of my favorites videos. I love these eye patches so freaking much. Not only do they moisturize under your eyes, but they're so cool and refreshing. And when you feel tired and just a bit gross from a plane, these completely change that. I feel like I can't get on a long haul flight without these now. Two other things that I keep on this side of my suitcase are electrical items. First is my laptop charger, which is pretty vital when you have eight hours of your favorite TV series to catch up on. The other thing I have with me is my phone charger. Now, I generally uh, don't use my phone on a flight because you can't, but also I like to think of my carry-on as not only the things I'm gonna need on the flight, but if anything were to happen, like I lost my luggage, then I would have everything that I would immediately need in there, so that is why I take my phone charger. Obviously, I don't generally charge my phone up on a flight, but you might want to. On to the next side, there's only two things in here, and the first is my laptop. Here it is in its case. This is actually an 11 inch MacBook Air, so this is perfect for flying. It's really thin and lightweight, and that is what I will be watching a lot of films and TV series on. And the last thing I have in my suitcase to show you is a cozy hoodie or jumper, or a sweater. I just think that sometimes it's quite nice to have something for added warmth and added coziness. I have actually been known to pack a blanket. Um, there actually is room in here to take a blanket so I might do that. I have some small ones that I wrap around me that are really cozy but also they just make me feel so much more relaxed. So the cozy jumper that I have is my TRXYE jumper. I just feel like it's quite nice if you get quite anxious on flights to take something that makes you feel really comfortable and at home. Um, with you on a flight so then if you're starting to feel a little bit out of your comfort zone or a little bit anxious you can get that out and you can just shut your eyes and imagine that you're at home and that's something that I quite like to do also. So that is everything that I will be taking with me on the flight to Orlando and it's generally what I take on most long haul flights. I really hope that this has helped any of you that are planning to take a trip soon and if you're nervous about it, I hope that that's also made you feel a little bit better. Let me know if there's anything I have missed 
or anything that you like to take with you on any flights and I will see you again very soon. Bye!